song. Are you ready? Do it with me. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Good morning to all of my friends. How are you on this wonderful day? Let's do our calendar. Are you ready to do calendar with me? Here we go. Oh, now the month is September. Look at that long name for September. The day is Wednesday. Oh, do you remember that new song I taught you yesterday about the day of the week? Oh, see if you can sing along with me. Today is Wednesday. So we're going to sing Today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. All day long. All day long. Yesterday was Tuesday. Tomorrow is Thursday. Let's have fun. Let's have fun. Yes, yeah, so today is Wednesday. And now if we look down to our story time heart, there is the number nine. So that makes today, Wednesday, September 9th. There is our heart for today's story time. There is the school bus because many of my friends will go back to school tomorrow. Some of my friends are already back to school. I said yesterday, I know Kingsway Academy started last week. Camp Bell Savona started. All Saints Academy has started. Yes, many of my friends are already back in school, but a lot of them go back tomorrow too. There is our heart for science time on Friday with Miss Abby. And I do know if you want to participate along, you will need a balloon, some olive oil, and a skewer. If you don't know what a skewer is, ask your grown-ups. It's kind of like a stick with a pointy end on it. Um, Friday is also September 11th. That's Patriots Day. Oh, and then we've got story times next week. We've got some homeschool stuff going next week. The first day of fall is in September. Oh, I love fall. All right, shall we do our days of the week song? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven days in a week. Let me move the board over here. Can you show me seven? Here's my seven. There are seven days. There are seven days. There are seven days in a week. There are seven days. There are seven days. There are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yes, seven days make up one week. All right, so there was our calendar. All right, so now I'm going to get the weather chart out. So while I'm singing the weather song, go look out your door or your front window or your back window and check the weather at your house. What is the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather out today? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather out today? All right, come back, come back. What is the weather at your house? When I look up into the sky, oh my goodness, I can see the moon today. I also see the sun. It is a beautiful sunny day and it, I think it's supposed to get really hot this afternoon. So I'm going to color in another rectangle on our sun. There we go. There's our rectangle for another beautiful sun-filled day. There we go. All right, so let me put our weather chart over here. And I have some stories about back to school. Now let me show you this. Do you know who this is? Oh, it is everybody's favorite cat, Pete the cat. Now, oh, Pete was getting ready for school. Now Pete, he wanted to look really cool 
for his first day of school. So Pete, he went to his mom and he said, hey mom, I want to look cool for school. What do you think I should wear? Well, Pete's mom looked at him and said, oh Pete, I think you should wear your yellow shirt. It's my favorite. Okay, said Pete. So Pete put on his yellow shirt. There we go. There's Pete's yellow shirt. But then Pete, he went and asked his friend Marty. Hey, Marty, I want to look cool for school. What do you think I should wear? And Marty said, oh, I think you should wear your red shirt. Because it's my favorite. Okay, said Pete. So Pete put on his red shirt. Hmm. Well, then Pete asked his brother. He said, hey, Bob, I want to look cool for school. What do you think I should wear? His brother Bob said, oh, I think you should wear your blue shirt. Because that's my favorite. Okay, said Pete. So Pete put on his blue shirt. And then Pete, he asked his teacher at meet and greet. He said, hey, teach, I want to look really cool for school tomorrow. What do you think I should wear? His teacher said, oh, Pete, I think you should wear your green pants. That's my favorite color. Yeah. Okay. So Pete put on his green pants. And then Pete... He asked his friend Callie. He said, hey, Callie, I want to look cool for school. What do you think I should wear? And Callie said, I think you should wear your blue shorts. The shorts with the fish. Because those are my favorite. Okay, said Pete. So Pete put on his blue shorts. And then Pete, he asked his bus driver. He said, hey, Mr. Bus Driver, I want to look cool for school. What do you think I should wear? And his bus driver said, I think you should wear your pink polka dotted socks because they're my favorite. Okay, said Pete. So Pete put on his pink polka dotted socks. And then he asked Grumpy Toad. He said, hey, Grumpy Toad, I want to look cool for school. What do you think I should wear tomorrow? Grumpy Toad said, I think you should wear your cowboy boots because they're my favorite. Okay, said Pete. So Pete put on his cowboy boots. Hmm. Well, now he went and asked Emma the dog. He said, hey, Emma, what do you think I should wear for school tomorrow? I want to look really cool. Emma the dog said, oh, I think you should wear your orange striped tie, because it's my favorite. Okay, said Pete. So Pete put on his orange striped tie. And then, of course, Pete asked his coach. He said, hey, coach, I want to look cool for school tomorrow. What do you think I should wear? And his coach, coach said, oh, you got to wear your baseball cap, Pete. It's my favorite. Okay, said Pete. Hmm. So now Pete put on everybody's favorite clothes. What do you think? Do you think Pete looks cool? Hmm, I don't know. I kind of think Pete looks a little hot. I also think he looks a little silly. He's wearing pants, shorts, three shirts, a tie, cowboy boots. Hmm, I don't know, Pete. I'm thinking you're not looking like such a cool cat. Hmm. So Pete, he thought about that for a minute. And guess what Pete decided to do? Pete, he took off the cowboy boots, the pink striped socks. Pete took off the tie. He took off the baseball cap. He took off the pants and the shorts. And he took off all three shirts. And then do you know what Pete did? Pete went and found his favorite shirt. The one that said cat. Pete put on his favorite shirt. There we go. And then Pete put on his favorite pair of pants. The blue ones. 
And then Pete put on his favorite socks, the green and white striped ones. There we go. And then Pete put on his favorite pair of shoes. Do you know what color they were? The red ones. <laughs> there we go. And then Pete put on his favorite pair of sunglasses. There. And Pete went to school on that first day. Now Pete, he is one cool cat. And Pete said, oh yeah, to be cool, you just have to be yourself. <laughs> oh, and that is the story of Pete the Cat. Too cool for school. <laughs> oh, I love Pete the Cat. He is so cool. All right, let me put Pete the Cat back over there in the bag. Let me put the board back over here because this next story is also about the first day of school. It was September and all the kids, they've gone back to school. Hmm. So the farm animals, oh my goodness, the farm animals were so bored. Oh, there was no one to scratch behind the animals' ears. Hmm. There was no one to pet the animals all day long. Uh, there was, there were no kids to chase around the farmyard. Oh, the poor farm animals. They were so sad because all the kids had gone back to school. So the animals, they all got together to come up with a plan. They said, well, now that the kids are all back in school, we've got to find something to do with our days. But just what should we do? Hmm. Well, one day, like the second day of school, those animals, they all decided they were going to follow the bus into school. Hmm. Well, they followed that bus. It picked the kids up at home. They followed that bus all the way into town. And then they came to this really big building. There were lots of people going in and out of this building. And on the front of the building, it said, library. Oh, well, those animals, they all looked at each other and said, wow, look at all those animals coming in and out of the library. They all have huge smiles on their faces. It must be a fun place to be. Let's go in and see what's going on. Well, now, Chicken, she wanted to be the first one in. But Cow, Cow said, no, you're just a teeny tiny little thing. Let me be the first one to go inside. So, Cow was the first one. She walked up those steps. She walked through those big doors and right into that big library. Oh, there were books all over. She walked over to where she saw all the kids hanging out. Oh, she walked over and she walked right up to the very friendly children's librarian that was there. And the cow looked at the librarian and the cow went, well, now that very friendly children's librarian looked at the cow and said, Excuse me? What are you asking for? And the cow again repeated herself. Well, that very friendly children's librarian looked at cow and said, I am so sorry. I just don't understand cow. So cow hung her head and walked back out the door, empty handed. Well, then pig said, I'll be the next one to go in. So pig walked right up the steps of that library, walked right through the front door, walked right over to that very friendly children's librarian. And now when the children's librarian looked at Pig and said, Well, hello, Pig. What can I help you with today? And Pig said, Oink, 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 oink. Well, that children's librarian looked at Pig and said, 
Oh, I'm sorry. What did you ask for? And Pig said, Oink! Oink, oink, oink! Well, now that very friendly children's librarian looked at the pig and said, Oh, pig, I'm so sorry, but I just don't understand what you're asking for. So pig, too, hung his head and walked back out the door empty-handed. Well, then Goat said, oh, I'll go in. I'll find us something. So Goat walked right up those steps, right through that big door of the library, walked right into the children's department, walked right up to that librarian, and Goat looked at that librarian and said, Now that very friendly children's librarian looked at the goat and said, excuse me, but what did you ask for? And the goat looked at that very friendly librarian again and said, nah, nah, nah. and that very friendly librarian looked at the poor goat and said, I'm sorry, I just don't speak goat. I don't know what you need. So goat too hung his head and went back outside. Well, now chicken. Chicken, she decided she was going to go in and she was going to see what was in there and what they could take home. So chicken, she hopped right up those steps. She walked right through that big door. Chicken went right up to that children's librarian and the chicken looked at that librarian and said, What? And that librarian looked at chicken and said, what did you say? He said, Bork, Bork, Bork. Oh, said the children's librarian. Would you like to take some books home? Bork, 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 said Chicken. So that librarian handed Chicken some books. Now, Chicken, oh my goodness, she looked at those books. Oh, she was so excited. She took those books back out to rest of the animals. Oh, the animals, they ran all the way home, and they sat down, and they had a nice little story time. It kept them occupied all day long. They were so happy. Well, all the animals, except for Frog. You see, Frog? He took a look at those books and said, I've already read it, read it, read it. <laughs> Frog had already read those books. Oh my goodness. And that silly story is called Book, Book, Book. Oh, the library is such a fun place to be, isn't it? Oh, and I miss seeing you guys at the library. Oh, but if there's any kind of books I can get for you, Give me a phone call, shoot me an email. Oh, I do miss all of you. And for those of you that are having your first day of school tomorrow, have a great first day of school. For many of my kindergarten friends or that are going into kindergarten, I am going to still do story time with you, not in person, but I'm going to record some story times and your teachers will put them in your classroom. Oh, so now it is time for us to go. So sing the goodbye song with me. Are you ready? Here we go. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Make sure your grown-ups put in the comment section how many of you are watching. Goodbye, friends. Till we see you again. Bye-bye.